So here we go with extra time. The last one before Craig wanders off into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, apparently. Uh, Is that how everything is going to be measured from now on? <laughs> when Craig leaves? <laughs> the day that Craig left on holiday? 40 days and 40 <laughs> nights. You shouldn't say that because no, I was keeping it quiet to that point. Nobody's yeah. mentioned it. Oh, yeah. No, nobody's mentioned it oh, at all. Okay. Okay. Well, have we all got to give up chocolate for the next 40 days or something? 40 days. Gone. Gone. 40 days. What? Yeah. No. No, no, there'll be none of that. Uh, Mark Ogden is here, as you can see. Uh, Mark, um, another Mark, uh, I don't even know if this is a question. He says, don't ask anything about Manchester United. Ogden <laughs> hates Manchester United. <laughs> Statement. <laughs> Defend yourself, Mark. I, you know, the floor is yours. Listen, uh, I'm from Manchester, you know, Manchester United are a big part of Manchester's cultural history, so I don't hate Man United. Right. It's oh. just difficult to be positive at the moment at Man United, isn't it? It's... Uh, you know, yeah. I, I saw the years when they were winning things left, right and centre, but now they're not, so got to be critical. Yeah, got to be realistic. Besides, Salford City are on the horizon in the city of Manchester. Well, that's that's going to change yeah, everything. I, absolutely, yeah, you know, you got the, the class of 92, the regime in exile, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the they're they're going to be the new, yeah, the new yeah. noisy neighbours, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be able to survive for 40 days without talking about Man United, Craig. We, we can call you. What, what chance you? you write in on extra time? <laughs> What's that? Uh, what chance you write in for extra time at some point in the next? <laughs> yes. Um, Ross, still on the subject of Manchester United, uh, asking if or pointing out if they are so bad, what does that say about Spurs, Arsenal, and Chelsea when they only finished a couple of points above a shocking Manchester United team, according to Ross? That is. Well, what does that say about? They suggest they're better than Man United because they finished above them. So, <laughs> yes. uh, only he, he, he was <laughs> focusing on the on the on the margin of uh, success there. But well, Chelsea weren't in great shape last no. year. They won the Europa League. Right. And Arsenal weren't in great shape with a poor transfer policy in the summer. And Tottenham ran out of steam because they hadn't signed anybody uh, after being in the title race somewhat and got to a Champions League final. Right. <laughs> and played some great stuff along the way. Especially for, you, especially for you, Craig. Julio with the next question. Who is the current favourite to win the CONCACAF Gold Cup? Oh. <laughs> he, he specifically wants your answer to that. <laughs> How many horses are running? <laughs> well, Mark said earlier he thought it was a horse race. Gold Cup's a horse race, that's all you need. <laughs> it is in Cheltenham, isn't it? The Gold yeah. Cup in England's a horse race. Yeah. There's a few donkeys in this one. <laughs> Yes. In the I can't even, I okay. can't even laugh. I can't, I, I can't even laugh. Why? Got to go. Got to go. Haiti, haven't you? Oh after God, after, after last me. night. Well, the US beat oh Trinidad the other night, and yeah. that's it. Oh the World Cup's me. in the sights. The World, World Cup. Uh, <laughs> oh, that got. I saw somebody say, "Well, that got the juices flowing." <laughs> but beating Trinidad. <laughs> now, potentially the best ever question posed on extra time comes from Tall Mike. Uh, Tall Mike. What oh, would? He, he, by the way, he's small then. He, he's probably he's probably quite small, isn't he? Uh, what would a Shaka Power Rank? Rankings look like between uh, well, he gives us all the options: oh. a combined eleven, a Ballon d'Or, expected goals, financial fair play, VAR, Seb's extra time greetings. Now this Mes is a top ten. I could get my teeth in. Messi, Ronaldo, greatest of all time discussions, end of eras, ordering on the. You know what? It's all set up. Let's go over here. here. Let's let's, let's to a mic just for you. Let's have a look at a, a power and ranking. Not, which is worst show topics well, ten to one, right? By the way, I've okay. got a, I've, I can give you a top hundred. Well, yeah, but. We, nar we narrowed it down to 10. All right. Let's start with VAR, right? I have no problem with VAR. And yeah. until you, your team has a wrong decision overturned, thanks to VAR, if you're complaining, just so kind of so keep it least, to yourself. That's the least yeah. worst show. VAR, I, VAR is here to stay and we'll be talking about it so, for quite some time. So you don't hate talking about VAR? No, well, this is the so list that Compared Tall to Mike. the other so things it's, it's on that last, board. According to Tall Mike's list, right? right. It's last. Financial fair play. Oh, I no, hate that. Craig might have a little bit of an issue with it. Well, apparently. Uh, not too much. Shaka One, because about. it's only Gab that talks about it. <laughs> so that's pretty good. No. But Gab always Come. brings it up when nobody else brings it up. Well, well, Gab as if anybody's to, interested. Gab has to have his moment. Give Gab his moment. Number nine. Going to combined be 11. And I know this is Craig's moment. Ooh, he loves a combined you, you, 11. You do oh, love Craig a good does. combined 11. Well, I, I think there's some value to a combined 11 just in terms of comparing teams. Number seven is what? Mark, you often provide some combined 11s. So yeah. To be honest, Shaq, <laughs> to be honest, Shaq, the, the producers don't even ask me now to do a combined 11. You just, I just mail it in? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, this one had me laughing. No, Seb's greetings Seb's are a greetings. thing of beauty. I never know what's coming, and it always raises a laugh, well, which isn't hard. And, and that's to but, start extra time. And yeah. that's to start extra yeah. time, yeah. Okay. right? It's, just, it's a, 
a smorgasbord. <laughs> Number six, ordering off the menu. I'll tell you why I like this, because I live vicariously through those of you this who is a, do order off the menu. This is a Gab Malcotti thing. This is a Gab it? Malcotti thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> listen, I've got five kids, I order on the value menu. What so never mind off the menu, all that fanciness. So I live my life through you all. Yeah. So that's number six. Number five is end of an era. This, okay. I mean, uh, well, just kind of in the middle. I'm, I'm on the fence. It happens to everybody, and we talk about it. What about the show we have to do when it, every year when it's Ronaldinho's birthday? <laughs> Ronaldinho. <laughs> We've got to wish him happy birthday. We'll talk to Todd Mike about that. That'll be next year's list. Right. Number four. Expected goals. Ooh. Now this... I thought that might be higher. I, no, I, I, I find... No, you, you wait to see the real. <laughs> Expected goals makes no sense to me for a couple of reasons. One, it's somebody sitting there watching the game and yeah. decided that's the, decides that's the expected that was... goals. So there's no science behind it. Yet it's presented as some kind of scientific fact that is just ridiculous. Oh, you It's need... an opinion. Oh, you're just a... Expected what, you're goals, just a, you're just you're a dinosaur. Expected a goals is an opinion. It's somebody's yeah. opinion. What Stop is, trying to pretend. Well, it's a metric. That it isn't. What is 0 0.87? It's a of metric the goal. that somebody sitting there and decides. Well, that's 1.2 expected. That make, what, that make what any is kind that? of sense. Yep. That's somebody's opinion. Uh, Ballon d'Or. Ooh, okay. God, no, no, these are the things that really get me, really irk me. I don't, I don't understand the value that people place on individual awards in a team sport. I really don't. And when you have the likes of Neymar moving because that puts him in a better position to win the Ballon d'Or. Where's highlights? <laughs> That's not on the list. Highlights, I hate highlights. You don't like I highlights. hate highlights. <laughs> Greatest of all time debate. Why would a football show ever show football? You all know what I think about this. Yeah. It is simply impossible to compare eras. How do you realistically compare Pele, who played through the 60s and early 70s, to Messi and Ronaldo, who were playing some 60 years later. And everybody gets all angry about it. Oh. I, 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 I don't get it. Stop tweeting me about it. <laughs> and last... Stop it! And certainly not least, we have been blessed with two of the greatest players of all time mm -hmm. in Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. And all we do is compare everything about them. When one scores, who wouldn't, wouldn't score? When one team wins, while well, their team... Down to here, Styles. Let's just enjoy them while we have them. Time is running out. And stop messaging me about nonsense with those two. <laughs> Thanks, Tall Mike. I got that off my chest. Who's Tall I needed Mike? that. Tall, tall Mike is whoever said Tall Mike is standing really tweeting. tall right now. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm gonna well done, Tall Mike. That is some power right Good list. Sir. I'm going to compile my 100... Topics I hate on this show in my 40 days off. <laughs> We're getting a lot bigger of a touch screen for. Do for you know how many times I come in here and, I, and they say, What we're talking about? I go, Jeez, not that again. <laughs> <laughs> not again. Good work, Shaggy. Thank you very Good much. Stuff. Uh, I, I appreciate that. I got that off my chest. Finally, uh, from Stevie Nichols, Shepherd's Pie, this for you, Craig. <laughs> what is Steve up to? Is he currently enjoying his Shepherd's Pie or throwing his lawnmower in the water? You don't see the picture from yesterday? I though. heard about it. <laughs> We don't have it. No, we don't have it. Uh, he's got, is it possible he, dressed, he, could be he was dressed as a beekeeper? Have you seen it? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> but that's not bee thing he has in his hand. What is that? It's a, it's a, it's a strimmer. Weed whacker. Yeah. So he's, he, he was playing golf with me yesterday morning <laughs> and then was complaining that he had to go on a very hot day and spend the afternoon weed whacking. I then called him. He said, oh, he said, by the way, I've been to the hardware store and I've bought a mask. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happened is he's gone into the hardware store and he's gone, I need a, I need a mask for weed whacking because I've got all the poison ivy and somebody's gone, we've only got the bee mask left. But, <laughs> we've only got the bee mask, but he's, he, he's dumb, he'll never know. <laughs> Looks like a beekeeper, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I suspect he never looked like Where's that. Where's the on logic? The, on the street. Where's the Liverpool? logic, right? I said to him, I said, Stevie, just pay something, <laughs> right? He's not going to pay something. All right. So the strimmer that he had yeah. wasn't good enough, wasn't domestic enough to do the weed whacking. So right. he had to go to a store, can't name it, <laughs> and, and buy the strimmer, a new strimmer, <laughs> and an attachment. Mm. So that must have cost Shaq. I don't know, a couple hundred bucks minimum, maybe 300. So it's more expensive than paying somebody, and then he's going to have to do that. I, 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 I need to, to buy a mask. I need to buy yeah, a mask. Yeah. But at least he saved money by wearing his golf clothes to, to do the uh, weed whacking. Yeah.
Yeah. I've seen him on he's the got, course in that. He's got no shame. So he was weed whacking yesterday. I don't know what he's doing today. Right. I spoke to him last Back night. Shepherd's pie, and probably. he was uh, barely coherent. <laughs> right. <laughs> at, the time, at the time I spoke to him, he was barely coherent at half four. <laughs> so after a strong shepherd's pie. So yeah. Ah. He's a, all right, <laughs> on, on you go, on your way, on your way into the wilderness. Don't take a beekeeper's You're miss me, aren't you? with you. I can't stop laughing now. <laughs> uh, we, we will miss you. We will. Don't don't uh, do anything we wouldn't oh. for the next oh, 40 oh, yeah, days. Just, uh, yeah. all, all that man, all that man wouldn't. Actually, there's nothing he wouldn't do. Is, oh, this, yes. is this day one of Craig? Enjoy Can we this. Down or yes. up Craig's holidays. We'll leave you with this abiding memory of, uh, of Mr. Nickel. And, uh, oh, he's not dead. See you on the <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>